So although I created a starter page for you to um, get started with, I want you to create your own page that you're going to work with, and that's the one you're going to submit. So I'm going to right-click on my starter page and choose New File. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Control-Shift-N if you're on a PC. And I'm going to call it scroll.html. So this is just a blank page. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the code from my starter page, go to the code view, control A to select everything, control C to copy, open up my scroll.html page, and I'm going to delete this code because I don't need it to be redundant, and paste in. A lot of that stuff um, will just be repeated. Okay, and I'm going to save this page quickly preview it just to make sure that it's working and it looks exactly like my other one and it has this scroll going on which is not a great scroll it's very fast and it only happens once I put my mouse on on the image scrolling bar and also once it gets to the end it stops so those are all attributes I want to change and it's pretty simple to do that so back over in Dreamweaver um, I'm going to scroll right into this section here where it says script type text equals JavaScript and we have our function and and the function says if you are a div with an ID of make me scrollable and that's what the name of this ID is um, apply this smooth div scroll to it right here we have some brackets and that's where all of those attributes that I want to change will go in between those brackets I'm going to open up this page here for a second um, that you also should have downloaded from Dreamweaver, sorry, from Blackboard. And on the second page, that's exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about these couple of scrolls here, and that's where you can put in all of your different attributes. So I'm going to go to the Smooth Div scroll website, and you should spend a little bit of time looking here to see how you can tweak this jQuery plugin yourself and down a little bit down into the bottom is the demo you can see some of these attributes that we're going to change such as auto scrolling mode is going to be on start um, continuous scrolling equals true so this is the kind of language that we're going to add and if you look up here in their script type you see that open bracket and the closing bracket and these are the attributes that they have changed or they have added to it and they go right in between the bracket. So here's a good example, let's say if you want to add a, a mouse wheel scroll. So you put mouse wheel scrolling true or continuous or with the hotspots and so on and so forth. Okay, so I'm going to go right into my page from Dreamweaver, sorry, from um, the Microsoft Word document and I'm going to copy all of this text here. Auto scroll is going to be on start. Auto scroll direction is going to be back and forth. And the auto scroll step and interval, and that's the timing, the amount of seconds. I'm going to take that, copy it, and I'm going to go right in between my brackets and paste it. So let's look at the difference. I'll save it and preview it again. So now I have an auto scroll. And when I do put my mouse on, it has a slightly different kind of effect. So when I have the auto scroll and I have the direction back and forth, what should happen is that when it comes to the end, um, it's just going to continue looping. It goes now into the other direction, as you saw that just happened. The other thing that I had put on the worksheet was to change the uh, dimension of your div, and that's really just to make sure that you understand how to go in and edit them. So this div, if you're going to be using the original, is called Make Me Scrollable. And I know that by clicking into this area, and if I look at my tags down here, there's only one div with an ID, I have the pound sign, Make Me Scrollable. So if I wanted to make adjustments to the way this div looked, I could either do it through my CSS panel by clicking on this, or I could go directly into my code view, up to my styles, and where I see the div with the ID make me scrollable, 
I could change that width. I'll change it down to 600. Save it. And let's refresh this page. And now I have a slightly smaller div. So that's really just so you can understand what it is. If you're going to copy and paste all of this information into one of your pages, you're going to be looking for your div with the idea of make me scrollable, and then you could add attributes or change the attributes right within the code area.